Weeks of gym time, strict dieting and pausing practice come down to a stage show. Here, competitors displayed their well-chiseled bodies. Only one of them will earn the right to be called Mr. Kampala. With every striking pause comes deafening cheers. Finding the city's best seems a tough job for the judges. Yes, people have muscles, but how many can you display? How defined are those muscles you have in your body? Not everybody has that ability. So if you choose to show them out, they must be defined. While this competition has in the past been just for men, female bodybuilders trying to shatter stereotypes are also competing. I'm determined to the training I do, and I like the thing. I like bodybuilding. <laughs> That's why I always win, and my body just shows it's toned. I have some muscles, you know. Celebrations for the winners. This competition wasn't just about who had the biggest muscle on the day. It was also a showcase of another way to be healthy. Hassan Lumala is the oldest here, but the 40-year-old beats much younger competitors to win the lightweight category. To get his body right, he says it is the diet more than the exercise that keeps him fit. I have to eat really well. I also rest a lot, but it is the eating that is more important. I eat about 10 eggs a day just to keep my muscles in shape. During the overall competition, Lumala wasn't able to clinch the top spot again. But he says a third place finish is good enough for him. Isaac Mubukirwa, the crowd favorite, ends up taking the overall top prize and he gets bragging rights as the top bodybuilder in the city at least until next year. Leon Sanyange, CGTN, Kampala, Uganda.